So any kind of gratitude practice is extremely powerful for your own well-being and happiness. And I don't think it's spoken about enough these days. And it is a shame because gratitude is one of those where you, um, again, it takes a little bit of practice. It takes a little bit of getting used to it. But once you get into the flow of it, you can really start to be grateful for the things around you, for anything that's going on in your life that you may have not appreciated before and what it's doing is changing your perspective and changing the way that you are uh, you know absorbing the things around you and uh, morning gratitude is something that I have done for a very long time now and it's always powerful because it doesn't matter what happens in the morning it's one of the first things that I do it sets the tone for the day and it kind of lowers um, this it lowers the the satis satisfaction of what you get from expectations from the day you know we generally these days expect so much more we expect more, 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 and we're still not happy. And being grateful for things in the morning, um, it sets that tone for the day. So, and I think it's really important to do this. So just gonna quickly talk through just something that I'm doing at the moment. So at the minute, first thing I'm doing in the morning with morning gratitude is I'm writing down three things that I am grateful for. And again, I spoke previously about writing stuff down and the importance of getting it out and getting the ink to paper. So it's really important that I'm writing down three things that I'm grateful for. and. This can be anything. So this can be something in the present, in the absolute moment that I'm in at that time. This can be something that has happened in the past, whether that is very recently, whether that was a couple of years ago, whether that is way, way long ago in my early childhood. It doesn't matter. Something that you're just grateful for. Um, anything, absolutely anything. It could be for the fact that I can move my legs. Something just as simple as that. And I think the more you do this, the more you start to go in and it makes you start to think about, it forces you to think about the things that you should be grateful for, but you're not grateful for because you're not taking the choice of actually putting yourself in that position of thinking about what am I grateful for? And you cannot do this unless you put yourself in the position and you make yourself ask yourself, what am I grateful for? But more importantly, why? And this comes down to the second half of it. So you could easily, I could easily do this exercise this morning and say, I am grateful for this, this, and this, and I'm done, finished, that's it. But you're not really taking the full value away from the exercise. So I have to go through them. I have to say, I'm grateful for this because of this. And that's where the because question, the why am I grateful for it? That's where the real gems blossom in this exercise because it raises your uh, your appreciation levels. It makes you think about what you should be appreciated, that appreciating about that thing that you might not have appreciated. And it opens up and expands your mindset and expands your ways of thinking. Doing this exercise is, is powerful. And what it does is it doesn't just make you appreciate and make you a lot happier for your own well-being for what you do have or what you have had or what you've got right now. But what it does is it actually kind of hits that reset button and lowers the satisfaction levels that you actually need to be happy from things that are going to come in your day or the next few days. And this is why it's important to do this in the morning because something might happen in my day today now that I might not have been as grateful for or if grateful at all. But doing this practice opens up that possibility and that it kind of makes me spread my arms open and say I'm going to be grateful for so much today because I've set that tone for the day and this is the difference in the quality of the life that we want to live and how happy we want to be so yeah you know if anyone wants to talk to me a little bit more about gratitude practices there is loads of different kinds of ways you can do it um, I would say you know maybe just start with just thinking of one thing every morning it's as simple as that just like anything else if you make it and you do this on a consistent basis then you are going to you're going to notice yourself changing you're going to notice yourself being more happy being more grateful being more appreciative and having just a better quality of living of life from the things that are around us um, on a daily basis if you do this and again it's not about doing something like this once a week you know you have to do it on a consistent basis you have to just give yourself uh, 10, 15 minutes, even if it's just five minutes in the morning. And you can do this at night as well. There's a load of different ways that you can do it. And, you know, I think just taking that choice, taking that thinking pattern, making that choice in your head to do it, that's the part of it. And then once you do it, then the rest is all golden after that.